Welcome everybody, this is the boy Dreda Matoro and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. But before we do get straight into the video, I would like to give a big shout out and thank you to the supporters that's on my screen. A big shout out to Sam Mai aka, Dariel AG, Crazy Boss V31, Weez G and Z Gaming, and even Morty Superman YT. Now these people are our channel members on our YouTube platform and I would like to give a big shout out and thank you for their support. So with that all said, let's get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about the working MAC in single player. So like always, make sure you download and install all of the latest requirements that's inside my description below. Once you have completed that process, then download this mod, and I will leave this mod inside my description below. So make sure you download this mod. This mod does require enable all interiors, so make sure you do download enable all interiors, and we can get started. Once you have completed that process, then all you gotta do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game, hover over it, right click, and open file location. As you can see, I have already installed my requirements, so make sure you do install your requirements. Just a little heads up, make sure you go inside your skithogv.net.ini file, and make sure that you change your reload key to insert. If your reload key does say none, then just only change it to insert. Once you have finished with that, then go to your scripts folder. Make sure you do create a scripts folder and make sure you do spell scripts correct and make sure that they are all lowercase. Once you have completed that, then open up your scripts folder. Now make sure you do have the latest native UI version 1.9.1 .1. make sure it is inside your scripts folder i will leave the native ui inside my description below as well once you have completed that then all you got to do is open up your mac extract folder it's over here somewhere there you go and now all you got to do is go inside your extract folder open up the folder that's inside the extract folder and then now just select all the files and folders and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now exit out of your extract folder. Now open up your enable all interiors extract folder and now go inside your EAI folder and select all the files and folder that's inside the extract folder and drag it inside your scripts folder. That's all you gotta do. Exit out of your extract folder Go back to your Grand Theft Auto V main folder, right click refresh your game folder, exit out of your game folder, right click and refresh your desktop and I'll see you all in the game. And we are back as Franklin, so as you guys can see that we are in the game. And to spawn the MOC vehicle, all you gotta do is open up your phone and go to contacts, go right down to the bottom and now go to enable interiors. Now this will phone call your menu. Now go to change and interior. Then all you gotta do, okay, is go to gun running interiors and make sure that your MOC is true. Then after that, go right down to the bottom to MISC options and make sure that the load MP maps is true and enable blips is true. Then now go down the bottom and now this is optional, random color blips true. Now that is optional, you don't have to do it, but these two up here is really important. You must enable them both to true. Once you have finished with that, then all you gotta do is go to refresh interiors, wait for a few seconds, and then now there you go. Now back out and now go to your keyboard and press insert. Now your game will freeze for only a few seconds, then this will pop up, okay? Now, open up your map, and now go over here, okay? 
go to this location over here and that's where the MAC is right over here now we are at the location where the MAC is and the MAC is just right over here so to go inside the MAC you can go inside here okay and now press your um, Q press Q to enter or E to enter inside a vehicle so press Q now as you guys can see we are inside the MAC and yeah we can actually come over here and we can um, go to the gun locker we can uh, come over here change our vehicles or exit from there we can go inside here and exit from here and there you go and now we can go over here do some missions uh, but yeah but if you guys do want to do missions then go back to your phone go to contacts go down to enable interiors and then now all you got to do is wait for the menu to pop up and then go to gun running interior and then now just make this to true okay if you guys want to do any missions okay and you can actually store your vehicles in here just go and jump in the vehicle and now you can store your vehicles in here if you want to uh, press E to use or press Q to save you can save your vehicle in here press E to use and now you can basically drive away and now do your own thing so yes guys so I really do enjoy this mod so this mod is a well recommended mod and we are back again so I hope you guys do enjoy that mod that mod is an awesome mod so um, if you guys do get stuck installing this mod, then please let me know and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that. Or if you do get stuck installing any other mods, then please let me know and I'll be more than welcome to help out on that as well. Don't forget to stay tuned because I'll be uploading more HKH191 mod tutorials for you guys so you guys can install it properly, okay? So... With that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, then smash the like button and subscribe for more gaming content and tutorials, and I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching, peace, and I'm out.